former Navy man turned reluctant politician. Zachy Farms on the label. In other political news, Thomas Michael Moore continues to separate himself from the political pack on the long campaign trail to the White House. Despite yes. criticism from the liberal left. 10.30, yes, I know. Gaining overwhelming momentum in what promises to be a heated race. like the admirals ahead in the polls. Bet he's happy. The era for politically expedient, safe decisions is gone. The time for difficult choices is now. We need to bring this country back from the brink of disaster and return it to the status of world leadership. Together, we can do it. Despite the retired admiral's recent stint as head of the National Security Council, critics question his... Did I say you think Michael Moore will make president? I don't know from politics, Mr. Mays. Why don't you ask Senora Michelle? Maintains this as an advantage. Critics also questioned the Admiral's ability to make the difficult transition from its military policy... Uh, oh, I got two coupons there for Captain Crunch. You want one for little hubby? Mm, okay. Take a look at all the variety in Togo's menu, and you'll see why people keep coming back. At Togo's... Hollywood apartment. The LAPD has no motive or leads at the moment, but believes the execution-style murder was a professional hit. The victim, James L. Pooler, was a local real estate executive. The assailant struck the 48-year-old broker while entering his underground parking structure. It appears to be a case of mistaken identity, since Mr. Pooler did not appear to have any ties to organized crime or drug trafficking. Welcome. Safe automatic default mechanism is engaged. System launch. System override. Please enter password. System launch will trigger at 0900 hours unless automatic arm default is overridden. Thank you. System disarmed. Disarm. Abort. Launch. From healthy snacks to great tasting side dishes. From recipe starters to old family favorites. Del Monte quality fruits and vegetables have always been a deliciously easy way to make sure your family has the very best. Del Monte. In the financial news today, Wall Street struggles for another blue Monday as the stock market goes broadly lower. Amid Day 162. Preparations continue as planned. Michael Moore hysteria is spreading like a bad flu. He still leads in the polls. Seems to be the short odds on favorite. The idea of that man living at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue gives me the creeps. H.L. Benkham was right. No one ever went broke underestimating the taste or the brains of the American people. Perimeter breach alert in zone six. Repeat. Perimeter breach alert in zone six. Intruder detected in laundry area, zone two.
Looking for me. I'll take that. Sixty-two seconds and a dead maid. Not good, Stuart. Not good at all. Oh, my fucking back. Sheem Singh's are taking a turn for the worse, see? The coppers are here. What? It's bogey. No, it's not. Reza, un menudo, por favor. No! Y uno más chance. Give me a heart attack, and I'm not going to wait for that to Teresa, happen. please! Dad? 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 Hi. You're not even dressed. I told you, we have a 10.30. We do? With whom? Dr. Simon. Dr. Simon? Of course. Dr. Simon. You have no life. Am I right? I mean, I know what his excuse is. What's yours? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? What, it's De Niro! Teresa quit. There's an RV parked outside the house. I've never seen it before. Are you listening to me? I heard you. Well, this has got to stop, Dad. And you can't keep tying maids to water heaters, holding them at gunpoint, throwing them into the pool. We're lucky nobody's pressed charges. Well, what do I need with a housemaid? Keep her. And nothing but a security headache anyway. So, your daughter tells me you don't get out of the house much. It's not safe. Yet you came here. Only under duress. Duress? Threat of a mental competency hearing. I see. So, how long have you worked for the telephone company? Doctor, let's clear up any potential misunderstanding here. No matter what my daughter has told you, I am no deluded agoraphobic or crazy psychotic. I know exactly whose end is up. You think I enjoy going around laying on the floor of my daughter's 4x4 four four, looking like a member of the village people? I don't do this for fun. I do this as a matter of security. Security. Fair enough. So how's your concentration? Your memory? 
How's yours? So no problems remembering, say, what you had for breakfast. I had an omelet. I'm assuming your father is British. That's correct. He was born in the UK, but he met my mother here in the United States. I see. So your father was an agent with military intelligence. Is that what he told you? He was a PR man for the United States Information Service. He had nothing to do with the military. He seems quite convinced otherwise. Yeah, well, he also thinks he was a government contract killer and that Thomas Michael Moore wants him dead. That he didn't tell me. Now, usually, paranoia associated with the disease is much more generic. Most patients think that people are stealing things from them, not trying to kill them. But your father's case, that's, that's a different deal. He, See, all, most of his symptoms are consistent with early Alzheimer's agitation, irritability, early language impairment, short-term memory deficit. But his PET scans, his PET scans show his glucose metabolism is not as reduced as his behavior might indicate. So, so frankly, aside from elevated cholesterol and blood pressure, he's as healthy as a horse. Cognitively and behaviorally, of course. His capacity for self-care may be another story extreme paranoia so early on in the disease, he could go fast. You're taking the same route home. I know, Dad. I'm sure we weren't followed. Bullshit! You can't be sure of anything. They look for patterns. Sometimes they have teams of 10, 15 cars tailing someone. Dad? Doesn't it strike you as strange that Mom and I never knew you were in the CIA? DIA, DIA, Defense Intelligence Agency. I was under deep cover. What did you expect? Hi, honey, I'm home. Man, what a killer day at the office. I shot two terrorists and a commie spy. You know, Dr. Simon wants to take you off of the fluoxetine and theoridazine. He thinks they may be causing your... confusion. You know what's causing my confusion? You are. You take me to one doctor who puts me on fluoxetine. You take me to another one who takes me off it. One wants me on thyroid, whatever the hell it's called. The other one says it's making me agitated. I'm not agitated. I am not senile. I, I am most definitely not crazy. He said if he becomes too much to handle, we might want to consider a locked facility. Don't you think that seems extreme? Don't worry, you'll never take him alive. We're talking about your dad here. Wouldn't be surprised he's already mail ordered himself a stinger missile by now. I'd sooner blow his brains out than go to some rest home. That's what I told Dr. Simon. He said what we really need at the very least is a professional in home caregiver. Frankly. I don't think there's a professional in the world that can handle your father. So, how are you with extreme personalities? Extreme personalities? Um, oh. Uh... Uh, uh, extreme personalities? No problem. <laughs> Actually, my specialty was guidance and delivery systems. And, uh, but after the mass layoffs, I, I felt I needed a more dynamically stable vector. Never, never an Alzheimer's patient, but uh, I know how to give a real good attitude adjustment. <laughs> That's probably all that boy needs out there. <laughs> what, what's he doing out there? Target practice. Yeah, well, uh, that cost extra. Therapy's been going very well, and I just thought we could talk about it. 
My father is challenging. I'm not going to fool you. I like challenges. Mrs. Ross, I'm getting my PhD in behavioral psych with an emphasis in gerontology. I'm sure I can handle it. So you need a live guinea pig, huh? Dad? That's, that's quite all right. It's a legitimate precaution. One can never be too safe. Oh, you should probably do a visual on this. This is my father, May Soul. Dad, this is Andy Travers. What kind of name is Andy for a girl, anyway? It's short for Andrea. What kind of a name is Mace? It's short for in your face. I like him. But well, I don't like her. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna spend nearly 50 grand a year on some... Teenage babysitter with a postgraduate degree. That's ridiculous, and Andy is better than the other option. What the hell is he talking about? What other option? Wait a minute. You guys are actually thinking of putting me away. You... Him! I believe anything. But you, my own flesh and blood, would... Threaten to take Nobody my house is away from me. anything. We're just trying to look out for your best interest, Dad. Don't call me Dad. And the only interest you're concerned with is the one you'll get on my money after you, you put me away. Well, nobody money. is putting me anywhere. I'm not some old piece of furniture. And there is nothing wrong with me. talking. It hasn't been you in months. Nobody wants to hurt you. This woman will look after you. She'll provide you with companionship. She's trained for this. Don't you see I am doing this so you can stay in your house? You've got to trust me. I can't afford to trust anybody. The doctor has him on haloperidol. Yeah, I'm familiar with it. It's an antipsychotic. Why is he not on Tacrin? He won't go to the doctor for the weekly monitoring. Mm. Look, he can say anything he likes, but he cannot fire you. You run the show, and you keep me posted. Andy, he's a good man. He's just high-strung. Don't let him get under your skin. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'll see you first thing tomorrow. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive degenerative disorder that alters the brain's neurochemistry and causes cognitive and intellectual abnormalities that impair memory, abstract reasoning, insight, and judgment. Disturbances in mood and emotional outbursts are common in about 50% of cases. Exaggerated obsessive compulsive attention to personal hygiene is common early in the illness, while the disease, which affects an estimated 4 million people in the U.S. alone, causes over 100,000 deaths each year. Up to 5% of all Alzheimer's victims show symptoms of the disease before age 65. Well, this is a beautiful house, Mr. Soul. How long have you lived here? Your daughter showed me the kitchen. It's quite a setup you have there. Is cooking a hobby? What kind of music do you like? I like your art.
We got great taste. Hmm. You must have been quite a collector. Still am. I'm not dead yet. Yes, of course. What's with all the weapons of destruction? A hobby. A hobby? Well, this is your hobby. What do you do for a living? Kill people? I gave that up years ago. I'm retired now. Well, that's good to know. Well, I'm going to do some food shopping, make us some lunch. Do you want to come? You do realize I am going to have to run a full security profile on you? I wouldn't expect anything less. Don't forget the bonus buy coupons. They're on the counter by the fridge. What's this? Mugwort. Your daughter told me that your blood pressure and cholesterol levels are off the chart, so we're going to change all that. New life, new food. From now on, we're going to eat macrobiotic. See, macrobiotics is based on the notion that you are what you eat. It's basically a way of balancing your life and the things you eat with nature. Uh, excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me? Can I help you find something? Oh, no, I got it. See, look, they're basically two different kinds of foods. Yin and yang. Chicken, meat, eggs, mayonnaise, all extremely yang, guaranteed to muddle your thinking and eventually kill you. Now, look at this stuff. Soda, alcohol, chocolate, all extremely yin, no better, all poison. Give me that! Are you out of your mind, woman? This is Beluga, $45 an ounce. Now, let's get some ground rules here. You're the maid, I'm the master. Your job is to clean my house cook my food and wash my shorts. What you're not here to do is to tell me what to eat, what to do, and when to do it. Is that clear? The woman is trying to poison me, I tell you. She's thrown away all my food, for Christ's sake. It's humiliating. Dad, no one is trying to poison you. Andy told me she was going to put you on a low-fat diet. Dr. Simon said your cholesterol was almost 300. Dad, promise me you'll behave yourself. And give Andy a chance. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Now, I want you to have an open mind about this. Come on, give it a try. Stop being so closed. It's not going to kill you. Only I know the disarm, uh... All zones um, activated. Code? Right, and it stays that way. This is the panic button. If ever you need to use it, then it's already too late. During the night, stay in bed, don't wander around the house. Why? Because you're pretty, but you're not transparent. You so much as break wind, it'll set off the entire system. 
Comes on at 11.15, goes off when I get up in the morning. What if I have to go to the bathroom? Hold it. Till morning? I'll bypass the bathroom near your room, but that's it. Thanks. Six, seventy-nine, seventy-two, sixty-five, fifty-eight, fifty-one, forty-four, thirty-seven, thirty, twenty-three, sixteen, nine, two. Caloperidol, one milligram. Lorazepam, point five milligram. Classified file open. I'm gonna get your son one way or another. Not this He doesn't care for you. Disarm abort launch. Not one penny. I'll cut him out. entertainment industry executives are expected to be arraigned next week. A local businessman was killed today, the result of what authorities are now calling a package bomb style murder. The man, J. Robert McKibben, a highly decorated Vietnam vet and former Navy SEAL, owned a small software company in the Valley. Time to get dressed. Shh. What's going on? All right, come on, let's let's get you dressed and then we can play together, okay? Don't you ever talk to me like a five-year-old again? This is not a game. This is life and death. And I will dress when I see fit. Now go get the mail. This is the deal. You get dressed, I'll get the mail. No clothes, no mail. No, this is the deal. I'll get my own mail, you go fuck yourself. I need a favor. <sighs> All right, I got your mail. Sharper image catalog, your front gate, your brigade. If you're enjoying the sunny skies out there, I'm here to tell you there's more of the same prediction. So what's the problem? No problem. She's right just a pain in the ass. Wow, she sure is one hell of a cute pain in the ass. I haven't noticed. Uh, she, she looks mighty fine in that black speedo. It's navy blue. Well, I got a couple ponds to skim. If you need me, give me a beep. Hey, Stu. Thanks a lot. Oh, Mace, Mace, ma 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 I, I, I can't take that. Hey, hey, take it. Come on, get out of here. Thanks. There's a new wrinkle in security. Andrea Marie Travers. She could be a spy. Born 22271, Social Security number 971, 844455, daughter of Nancy and Robert. Dad, former Marine Colonel, mother psychiatrist. B.S. in clerical, clinical psychology from Rutgers. Decent resume, no criminal record, one moving violation in the last 18 months. I had to agree to the situation. I'll risk a competency hearing and subsequent commitment on the subject of sanity. The Admiral is to make a scheduled champagne stop Campaign stop here in LA on the 4th at the Bonaventure. I'm taking appropriate measures. Oh, P.S. The woman's cooking stinks. Mace lunch.
I'm not hungry. Oh, Jesus, Macy, you scared the crap out of me. Go away. I'm busy. <sighs> Look, you gotta eat. Come on, open up. Let me in. No one enters this room but me. Understood? Security camera, zone one. Security camera, zone four. I'm gonna run some errands. Do you wanna get some fresh air? No. I didn't think so. Well, your food's here in case you get hungry. How about turning off the Fort Knox security system, Goldfinger? Perimeter security system disarming. Okay, well, I'm leaving. So if all hell breaks loose, you've been warned. Don't forget the bonus buy coupons. Day 165, second entry. After an extensive background check, it appears that Andrea Travers poses no significant threat to the operation. Still, I intend to be vigilant and keep an eye on her. Better safe than sorry. Clinton, Bush, Reagan, Carter, Ford, Nixon, Johnson, Kennedy, Eisenhower, Truman. Clinton, Bush, Reagan, Carter, Ford, Clinton, Bush, Reagan, Carter, Ford, Nixon, Johnson, Kennedy, Eisenhower, Truman. Clinton, Bush, Reagan, Carter, Ford, Nixon, Johnson, Kennedy, Eisenhower, Truman. This yours? What is it? You know exactly what it is. You were in my room yesterday. I don't know what you're talking about. Why would I be in your room? <sighs> don't try the dementia shtick on me. You have really crossed the line, Mace. Listen, this is my house. I paid for it, and I pay a lot for you. I'll do whatever I want to. Everyone deserves their privacy. I respect yours, and I'll thank you to respect mine. If I did go into your room, which I am not saying I did, maybe I had a reason. Maybe it was a security oh, check. you're gonna have to do better than that, J. Edgar. Mace! 
Come back here. I'm not done talking to you. Security breach alert. Repeat. Security breach alert. Intruder detected. Intruder detected. Mace? Security camera one. Security camera two. Security camera three. Security camera four. Intruder detected on roof zone 10. Oh, okay. Calm down, we can work this out. Mace. Mace, give me the gun. Stay back. How was I supposed to know that you play these games? Drills. Whatever. You can't just go around pulling a stunt like this. Someone might have really gotten hurt. Hello? Uh, oh, uh, hi, honey. How are things with Andy? Good. Good. Everything is good. Dad, what's going on? Oh, nothing. No. No problems here. Nope, we're all fine. How are you? Oh, well, she's, uh, she's all tied up at the moment. Oh, my God, Dad. Hi, Michelle. Oh, yeah, it's fine. We're getting on just fine. Oh, yeah, believe me, if we had any problems, you'd know about it. Trust me. Mm. Yeah, really. Okay, oh. sure. Take care. Bye. Oh. You owe me. Big. So. Where did you learn this witchcraft cooking of yours? Is there some macro culinary institute or is it passed on from generation to generation? <laughs> miss, 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 miss. That rapier wood of yours is so cutting. I know that's not the real you. You don't know the first thing about me. You haven't given me a chance. Well, that's not an easy thing to do, my dear. When everyone around you takes over your life, Questions your sanity, starts treating you like a kid again. How would you react? Open arms. You're right. I'm sorry. Tell you what. Let's start over. What do you think of Bancha? Not bad. For twigs, I suppose. <laughs> but it's it's no Chateau Margot Blanc de Blanc 76. Well, I guess a glass of wine from time to time won't kill you. Well, in that case, I am in charge of dessert. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, this is obscene. Mm. Don't fight it.
just enjoy it. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this, Mace. It's wrong. Nonsense. It's 50% fat free. Oh. Where the hell did you get this, anyway? No place you shop. Besides, the less you know, the safer you are. dangerous man may soul yeah in my day maybe now I'm just a harmless old man but more to the point <clears throat> what's a beautiful woman like yourself doing at home on a Friday night eating cookies and cream with some old geezer like me you should be out dancing Hey, you're right. Let's go. Oh, yeah, sure. Crowded dance floor, flashing lights, loud music. Perfect place to get a blade between my ribs. You want me to die in your arms? No, thanks. What's wrong? Hi. I'm okay. You should be out dancing on a night like this, not babysitting an old fart like me. I said that already, didn't I? So, Mace, when did you retire from the C the DEA? I never worked for the DEA. You didn't? Oh, of course not. That's a ridiculous idea. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. The DEA is the Drug Enforcement Agency. I work for the DIA, for crying out loud. <sighs> Thought I was the one cutting out paper dolls. The DIA? Of course. Shall we try a little exercise, please? It's, uh, numbers. Let's count backwards from 100 by 7. 100, 93, 86, 79, 72, 65, 58, 51, 40... Oh, that's, that's fine, very good. Uh, shall we try single digits? Oh, this is ridiculous. Next, you'll have me doing my impersonation of Mr. Ed. All right, just <laughs> humor me. This is just a standard test of concentration, so... Single digits, right? 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 92, 93, 91. Do I pass, or do you send me to remedial school? So, are you and Andy getting along okay, Dad? Not bad. She's a good kid. Cooking better? She's learning. Where's your CD changer? I don't know. I think in the back. That's what I thought. Now listen very carefully. There is a device under your seat. It looks like an electronic detonation unit that will be activated by the removal of your weight. Dad, please, not today. Listen to me, goddammit! There's enough C4 in your seat to blow both of our asses to Pacoima. Now I am dead serious. Take us home. Get us off the street. If 
you don't believe me, grab the periscope. See for yourself. My God. Tell me this is one of your stupid stunts. I can assure you, I did not put this here. Now, stay very still. Don't move. Now, very carefully, without touching the club, get out of the car. Shouldn't we call the bomb squad or something? By the time the police get here, we could both be sitting on Mrs. Tobin's roof up the street. Good. Now get the toolkit out of the jag and then get out of here. This is crazy. I, I don't think you should mess with this, Dad. Go! No fucking cigar. No, wait a minute. You said that... I said, I can assure you, I did not put this there. I never said it was real. God, this is unbelievable, Dad! I cannot take this anymore! Do you understand me? Do you? One more stunt like this and I'm going to have you commit it! One second there, and in a flash, I actually believed him. I don't know why, but I did. When I saw that black box under my seat, I felt terrible for doubting him all this time. Well, I think it's time to talk to Stan Kravitz and ask what we need to do to get power of attorney or conservatorship. Pass something with the courts. Don't look at me like that. He could end up hurting himself and everybody around him, including you. Dr. Simon said he shouldn't be playing with them, even if they are toys. And I don't want him playing any more war games with Stuart. After this bomb set, I've just about had enough. Doctors say that their latest research should provide a new effective vaccine, and they're hoping to begin human trials within the next several months. On the national political scene, after sweeping the ballots on Super Tuesday, Thomas Michael Moore is heading for the final primary Mace. in California and Texas. To capture the Republican nomination at next week's convention. The outspoken admiral... Mace. Hello. I understand that there are those that say I'm not much of a backroom politician. Well, I hope that's true. My humble opinion is backroom politics that have separated Mace. the American people from this government. What's going on? You've been locked up in here all day. I'm fine. Mace. None of you understands. The drills are not a game. I need them to stay sharp. Well, tell you what. How about if you and I put our heads together? Maybe we can come up with something else to keep you sharp. What do you say? Won't be the same thing. He likes strategic games. This is the ultimate strategic game. Right, right. You'll move. <sighs> yes, sir. Well, I could nab your rook here. But you're far too good not to realize that, so it's probably a decoy. However, a rook is a good kill. But you'd probably want to make the sacrifice juicy, so I'd take the bait. If I did, you could probably set up a decent assault, but minus an important soldier. I don't think so. Sometimes things are what they seem. Check. Oh, clever. Tell you what, let's make this interesting. If you win, we'll do a limited drill. 
I set the parameters and I run it. If I win, I get to pick the next game and you have to play it. <laughs> My dear, if you win, not only can you pick the next game, I will wash your underwear for a month. This is not what I call a game. No, it's called being human. Human beings don't spend their entire existences inside their homes like hermits. It's unnatural, it's unhealthy, and it's antisocial. Mace, you promised. Mace, if you don't cooperate, I swear we will never have a drill again. I want you to be aware of the fact that I know you hustle me, and you know what happens to hustlers. Come on. I'll tell you what, if the bullets start to fly, you can use me as a human shield. How's that? See, it's not so bad. Oh, Mace, it, it's a sonic boom! I was just wondering if maybe he had some old friends we could arrange to visit with, you know? Or maybe develop some hobbies or exercise. I've been reading about dance therapy. It looks like it might help. You motherfuckers are gonna kill all my lilies! Friggin' parasitic rodents! Uh, M Michelle, can I call you right back? I've got something about to boil over. Okay, thanks. Mace! Mace! What are you doing? Pest control! I thought we agreed no live rounds in the house. It isn't the house, it's the garden. Give me the gun. Now. <sighs> Jesus Christ. What are you, a branch Davidian? Where the hell do all these come from? I mean, he's always been a little on the edge, but now he's getting scary. Yeah. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, I love him like a father. Maybe we should come up with new stuff for him to do, you know? Keep him busy. He just sits in there all day staring at us. Day 255. Things look bad. My own team feel that I've gone over the edge. To make things worse, the Admiral is poised to take the party nomination. He doesn't have much time. Since the Termination of Pooler, McGibbon, Latimer, and Wessel. He must be close to making his move. If he takes New Jersey, New Mexico, it's all over. Entry error. You have entered an invalid password. You have two tries left to enter the correct password. Warning, the failsafe automatic default system is engaged. System launch will trigger at 0900 hours unless automatic arm default is overridden. error. You have one try left to enter the correct password. System disarmed. T 
Disarm aboard launch. There is nothing like a good Havana. Aren't these stogies illegal? Totally. But that adds something to the aroma. All right. Gentlemen, baseball. Nines and sevens are wild. Sevens? <laughs> Nobody makes sevens wild. Who's dealing here, you or me? So, Stuart, what do you say? Are you ready for another drill? Punk. <coughs> well, base. Why? <laughs> this is fun. Besides, your daughter said she didn't want any more drills. I don't want to push our luck. She's got a point. Wait a while, you know. Do something else. So that's it. You worked all this out among yourselves. Maybe you want me to be unpeppered. Maybe you're all in on this or together. That's it. No, no. Out of here. You and Bob are ganging up on me. Mace, come back here. Who's Bob? He called me Bob. Bush Reagan, Carter Ford Nixon. <laughs> Clinton Reagan Bush, Carter Ford. Clinton. Clinton. Electricity cut.
so sorry, Mace. I should have never done this. Stu and I thought it would cheer you up. It was a terrible idea. I don't know what I was thinking. You proved the point. I'm a dead man. I can't defend myself anymore. I'm scared, Andy. <laughs> I'm scared. We've been through this before, Mace. If I put you on Tecrin, I have to see you every other week. We have to monitor your liver enzymes. Put me on any pill you want. I'll take it. No argument. I can't live like this. I'll do whatever it takes. I don't want to mislead you. This may temporarily increase your cognitive abilities. But it's not a miracle cure. At best, it may buy us some time. You also seem quite depressed. I should put you on Serzon. Right now, I want you to take this religiously and no more drills. Any sudden stress could cause a total loss of your present functioning abilities. Do you understand? Look what you did. Look what you did. <laughs> Mace, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Daikon. Daikon. We made a macro meal. This is great. Let me help. Hey, hey, hey. My show. All right? All right. I'm going to take care of the entertainment then. Come on. I don't <laughs> like this game. I know. It's called trust. Huh? Oh, it's just a tree. Almost there. Okay. Merry Christmas. What's all this? Well, since you won't go out to a nightclub and dance, I thought I'd bring the nightclub here. You do dance, don't you? Assume the position, Mr. Soul. 
I love it when you pass me around. I had no idea you could dance so well. This isn't dancing. Woo! This is dancing. <laughs> covered up. That's a general idea. <laughs> It'd be a sitting duck if it weren't for this vegetation. I might as well stand out here stark naked with a sign around my neck saying, hey, sniper, shoot at me. <laughs> Mace, how many attempts have been made on your life in the last, well, let's say five years? None, right? So whoever wants you dead is certainly taking their sweet time about it, wouldn't you say? They didn't have a reason until recently. Okay. So what does the next president of the United States want with a tough guy like you liquidated? Hey, don't patronize me. Some things are better left unsaid. Oh, come on, Mace. <laughs> I've been a good little soldier, haven't I? Haven't I earned a higher security clearance by now? So do you mean to tell me that when Thomas Michael Moore was in the CIA, he had... DIA. DIA, whatever. He had a couple senators killed because they threatened to shrink his budget? Believe me, my dear, in the name of national security, we have done far worse for far less. And how, pray tell, are you involved in this fantastic, albeit highly imaginative, scenario? Because I'm the last surviving member of Admiral Michael Moore's private navy. Oh. Last bag man. I read a lot of spy thrillers. So, if you're such a threat, then why hasn't he made his move yet? Because I was the only one sensible enough to take out life insurance. Well, what good is this policy of yours if you're gonna live the remainder of your days in fear? I mean, this is a prison here. It's the best I got, kid. Here's Lily and Zaki for Zaki Farms. With all the news about Russia lately, imagine my surprise when I met a woman in the market who just moved here from Moscow. She was amazed at the American supermarkets and how fresh everything looked, especially the chicken. you thought you don't go around shooting at your neighbors didn't we agree no guns with live rounds <sighs> it'll be a miracle if the Tobins don't press charges you've ruined their daughter's bat mitzvah and probably fucked her up for life I just don't believe you that's the problem what's the problem you don't believe me you're just like Mark and Michelle and you all think I'm crazy <sighs> well what do you expect when you pull stunts like that you expect me to condone that kind of behavior I don't care what you condone. You're not my friend. How dare you? 
I've covered your ass more times than I can count. No one has cared for you more than I have. If it wasn't for me, your family would have you sitting in a vegetable garden with the rest of the harvest. I may be senile, but I'm not crazy. Just glad you weren't hurt. <laughs> Say, who in their right mind keeps guns in the bathroom? Yeah, Dad. You in their right mind. Get out of the way. No, Dad. This room is out of bounds. Dad, no. get out of the way. How did you get all this stuff? You are signing my death warrant. I hope you are aware of that. I'm only trying to keep you from killing yourself and someone else. No! This is 300 years old. No way am I allowing you to take it. Dad! Dad! Put that thing down this instant! won't know where you've been moved to. Ugh. It'll be safe. I'll still come and visit you. Here. Thanks. Thanks, you want some? You okay? Thomas Michael Moore, prior to leaving Colorado for a $1,000 a plate fundraiser in Los Angeles, was asked about the media's comparison to Dwight D. Eisenhower. The former admiral smiled, noting that as complimentary as the association might be, he was no war hero, just a good administrator. Michael Moore's populist Mr. Inside Outside platform and his refrain of being a skilled manager and committed public I got a special treat for you. Ta-da! Beluga, forty-five dollars an ounce. Oh, oh come on, Mace! I even cut the toast just the way you like it. This is all your fault, you know. Excuse me. Humans don't spend their entire existences inside their homes like hermits. It's unhealthy. It's unnatural. It's antisocial. I was fine. I wasn't bothering anybody. Safe in my little house. But you couldn't live well enough alone. Miss Mary Poppins has to take me for fucking walks in the hills. Why, God damn it, why?
Hi. Yes? Uh, it won't fit in the box. Leave it by the gate. Can't. Return receipt requested. Where's Frank? His wife's having a kid. Uh, he's at the hospital. Morning. Uh, sign here, please. Line 22. <sighs> Government issue. What do you expect? I usually carry a spare. Uh, you don't happen to have a pen, do you? Wait right here. I'll be back. taken a turn for the worse. Michelle and Mark have filed a petition with the court. The competency hearing is due any day now. Given my history of recent behavior, this could present a major problem. Have you been taking this, Arizona? It's not working. I'm getting worse. Yeah, that's the depression worsening your cognitive deficit. All right, we're going to increase the Arizona and Centraline. But the truth is, during the past few weeks, I'm not sure how competent I really have been. Since shooting at the Tobins, maybe everybody is right. Maybe I really am crazy. Doctor, when I first came here, it was to humor my daughter. And then I soon found that I had to work my ass off just to get through the day. But I always knew what was what. Reality versus make-believe. Up versus down. But I, I look in the mirror and I don't know who I am. Whether I'm out of my mind or not, Michael Moore cannot be allowed to take office. I can no longer trust anyone. But I got a plan. I got an idea. Love you, Dad. I'm so sorry we have to go through this. Me too.
Andy! Andy! I thought I told you never to go into my office. What were you doing looking at my tapes? Uh, I was worried about you, Mace. You haven't been yourself for days, and I, I just wanted to help you. By spying on me? You know better than anybody else. What about everyone deserves their privacy? I respect yours. I'll thank you to respect mine. You already think I'm out of my fucking mind. You want more proof? Mace. Those tapes are my business. Nobody else's. Mace, listen to me. I just didn't want you to do anything stupid. I care for you. I'm your only friend. Bullshit. It's not bullshit. Haven't I proven my friendship to you? If it were up to me, I wouldn't let them send you away. I didn't put you in this position. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me, Mace. I'd do anything for you. Really should cut back those trees. Anything. Classified file opened. Are you familiar with the dead man switch? Yeah, on a train. The engineer takes his foot off the pedal, the train stops. Right. If Michael Moore takes me out, then his campaign train stops. If I'm not around to reset my internet email system every 24 hours, it automatically fires off my life story and the Admiral's to every major print and electronic outlet in the Western world. Can you say Washington Post? Oh my God. New York Times, Wall Street Journal. This is your life insurance policy. I have documented every dirty, underhanded, black bag assignment his twisted little mind has concocted over 20 years of naval intelligence. So, see? I stay alive. He stays out of jail. Does he know you have this? He knows I have something. Just doesn't know what. Nice. If this is true, what stops them from just unplugging the power? The beauty of this is, it's a passive system. The data is not here. It's in some internet computer in Nebraska or Indiana. But if someone cuts me off, there is nothing to stop these files from being sent all over the world. Automatically. Andy, please listen to me. If Mark and Michelle put me away, I'm out in the cold. Detente is only meaningful if one can cover one's ass. I need to get out of the country, but I can only do it if you help me. This is insane, Mason. What are you talking about? I'm talking about half a million dollars tax-free. I have two million in the Grand Cayman and a house in British Virgin Gorda that no one knows about. <laughs> no way. I can't do this. They'll be after me for kidnapping. No. Not if I leave first. Go to San Diego, somewhere. Uh, perfect. Y you, you say that I ran away, then you pick me up, and we charter a jet, and... <sighs> Holy shit. Mace, I am way out of my depth here. This is scary stuff. Andy. I need your help. I need your sharp mind, because mine is quickly becoming duller than a butter knife. Half a million dollars, kid. Tax free. They get to you when you're young and stupid. And in time, you start to think of yourself as a vital part of the geopolitical ecosystem. Kill a terrorist here, political despot there. Soon you believe you're doing humanity a favor. You're preventing global wars, massive political instability, famine, pain and suffering for millions. You're a hero. So what made you stop? As you get older, you develop a conscience. Things change. You begin to seriously question whose security you're protecting.
Handy! Where's Stuart? Stuart asked me to cover for him. What's going on? Hold it a moment. Don't you work for the post office? Not really. <laughs> You have reached the online service of the National Cayman Bank. Please enter your access code. Invalid entry. Access denied. You have one more attempt before system disconnects. You sleep okay? Like a rock. How about you? Not so good. I was up most of the night. Well, we've got a lot to do today. So I'm gonna go to the bank and then I'm gonna get us some food for the road. You wanna come? I think I'll pass. <laughs> okay. Having second thoughts? No, I'm just a little jittery. I'll be fine. You better let me get out of here so I can plan our great escape. I'll be ready. Target distance, one kilometer. Target distance, two kilometers. Target distance, 300 meters. Distance 200 meters.
is yours? A regular adventure. You hungry? Little. Okay, well, I'll make us some lunch after I take a shower. I feel so icky, sticky. It's so humid out there. Take your time. Can you believe the weather we had this morning? It was like a monsoon out there. I thought we weren't supposed to get rain in Southern California. the automated phone system of the Pentagon. If you are calling from a touchstone phone and know the extension of the party you wish to reach, please enter it now. Press 1 for a department directory or stay on the line and Looking the for operator this? will pick up. You are some piece of wood. Oh my, you're good. I thought I was the best, but you're better. Well, take that as a compliment coming from the Grand Master himself. I'll have that dead man code now if you don't mind. So, uh, what's your rank? Sorry, Colonel. Soldiering is your M.O. That old honor, God, country, and apple pie bullshit can only get you so far in this world. <sighs> You're freelance. I've never been much motivated by political ideology. Strictly a material girl. So, um, what's the going rate for an old dog like me? More than you can imagine. Your short-term memory must be really shot to shit. No more guns, remember? Step aside from the counter, please. How do you know? I wasn't ready for all this. I did smoke you out with the dead man switch. Who was gonna rescue you? Stuart? With one of your stupid little drills? The code. Now. Fuck you. I'm not giving you shit. Mace, mace, mace. I was really hoping it wasn't gonna go down like this. I would have the code and you, well... You would have forgotten about it soon enough anyway. But you couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? System armed. Ten. Nine. Warning. Eight, system seven, is six, now armed. Five, Final four, launch system engaged. Two, one, Are you sure you wish to proceed?
Firing launch sequence commenced. Data transmission commencing. Emergency. Operator 1016, what's the nature of your emergency? Yes, there is a dead woman in my kitchen. Uh, stay on the line. I'm connecting you to police dispatch. Do not hang up, okay? Okay? Yes, there is a dead woman in my kitchen. This is the LAPD. We show you're at 15780 Terrace Hill, correct? Yes, there is a dead woman in my kitchen. What is your name, sir? Sir, your name? I don't know. In what can only be described as the most explosive political revelation since Watergate and the Iran-Contra scandal, presidential shoe-in Admiral Thomas Michael Moore is now being linked to gross criminal misconduct while still in charge of the naval intelligence operations at the Pentagon. Although not officially charged as of yet, the FBI has linked Michael Moore to the deaths of Senators Carcano, McHenry, and Congressman Marvin Haysha, all members of the Joint Select Committee on Intelligence. Michael Moore was not available for comment, but a spokesman for the Department of Justice says formal charges will be imminently filed. Reporting from Atlanta, this is Steve Mazur.